Welcome back to Ezoic Blogging 101. Today we're going to go over the next step of setting up ads on a site using Ezoic's tools. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now that this site, Australian Population, is integrated. That's the site that we will be reviewing today. Let me pop back into this publisher's account. This is my owned and operated site that I put on Ezoic, Austra australian-population.com. So yes, site is integrated. These are the steps on the home page of my dashboard. Now we have to set up the testing, ad testing. Uh, one thing to note is if this is a, your first site on the platform, you do need to apply to Google Ad Exchange through Ezoic. It's basically a subsidiary account. Simply do that by clicking this link. Um, and that will allow you to enter your email address to then apply for Google Ad Exchange. This is my second site to this account. So Ad Exchange is already approved. I'm going to go ahead and skip that test and we'll move on to set up ad testing. This is found under the monetization tab of your AdSense account. When we scroll down here, uh, we will find that currently there are no ad positions or ad units, we call them placeholders at Ezoic, which is a location or potential location where an ad can display on your site with many different sizes. Um, so you can do this manually, or we recommend doing this with our Chrome extension. Um, so I will leave a link to this support article and how to use our Chrome extension in the comments below here, below the video. Um, but basically, we have this Chrome extension. This article walks you through it, so it's really great to check out. Once you install it, it will show up as an extension right inside, right here in, in your toolbar. Um, so this is it right here. Now we're on the site australianpopulation.com. We're going to go ahead and start using this Chrome extension. Essentially, it allows you to inject ads dynamically into the site, kind of like a drag and drop tool makes it really easy to add ads and it's very, very effective. Um, at the moment, I do have a site, or excuse me, a page pulled up. I pulled up the most popular page on the site. This is something that you can figure out on your own by checking your own Google Analytics. Um, I'm using this, uh, this page first, um, being the most popular page. And one thing to note about this Chrome extension, which is also really useful, when you insert an ad onto the page, it's not on, on that single page only unless you designate that. So this makes it easy when setting up the site because when you apply an, an ad placeholder with Ezoic to one of your article pages, it will apply across all of those different articles or blog posts at the same time. So you don't have to do it for every individual page. You only have to do it for your blog, your basically your three main page types, your article or blog posts. Secondly, your homepage, which is its own individual page. And third and finally, your category pages. You would probably wanna do it separately there as well. But that way you don't do it on every single page, but you do it on only your main page types. With that, let's activate the extension. I'm gonna go ahead and create my first placeholder on this site. Automatically detect is usually the easiest. Um, this will, automatically choose the sizes that fit the position that you're selecting on the page. So I've hit create, selected the automatically detect, now select location. Perfect, I'm getting a reload option at the moment. There we go, we're back in business. All right, click here. I'm clicking uh, the top under the under the menu, but the above, excuse me, above the page title. So insert here, uh, choose top of page. You can choose the devices that you want this ad to show on. I want it to show on all devices, desktop, tablet, mobile. Uh, let's see here. Fluid sizes are basically responsive ad sizes. So I'll leave those on. Adapt adaptive sizing is a feature that Ezoic tests where we can test multiple uh, smaller ad sizes within the same position. Um, so we recommend that for maximizing your revenue. An example of that is testing two 300 by 250s in a single 300 by 600 vertical ad position. Um, so those are the places on the page. Um, next, we can go here and 
choose any additional sizes that we would like to show in this spot. But again, Ezoic does this for you automatically, sizes that will fit that location. Um, as you can see, the larger sizes are not selected for this location. This next tab will allow us to choose which page to show it on. Again, by default, it's going to be automatically detect similar pages, so that's great. This position will apply to the top of the page across all pages of the site that are of that same type. If we wanted to do it to single page only, we could choose this, or we could choose pages in a directory. Um, so those are some other options for you. Um, going further down here, the next, the next uh, tab really has to do with styling. Um, so by default, ads are going to be centered on the page, but if you wanna add more padding, if you wanna align them to the left or the right, you can certainly do that. You can add colors as well. Um, you can even add an advertisement disclosure if you choose to. Final tab, if you click edit an app, this will take you back to your Ezoic dashboard. Um, but this ad, ad looks good to me, so I'm going to click save placeholder, and then we will see this uh, position pop up as a preview on the site as soon as it's done loading. Reload the page once more. Sometimes this can happen when you're using the Chrome extension, totally normal. All right, here we go. We have our top of page placeholder. Um, so as you can see, this is the first size you'll see, 336 by 280. Uh, we also have a 728 by 90, uh, 250 by 250. So various sizes that can fit in this top of page position. Now, what I'll wanna do here as I continue down the site is just add more placeholders and other positions. So I have a top of page placeholder, which is fantastic. Um, I actually want to get some larger sizes in here. So I'm going to choose these positions, the billboards. Um, so we can have those larger sizes show at the top of the page as well. Now let's do one more position um, just to show you guys how this is done. And then I think you'll get the gist and can do it on your own. Um, so we'll do one right up here. Um, insert here. I'm going to call this under first paragraph. Again, everything was, all the settings are here, same as last time, they look good. Hit save placeholder. And there we go. There you have it. We have another uh, add placeholder through Ezoic designated as the under first paragraph position. Um, and actually on that note, we'll add one more placeholder because something unique here is each place placeholder um, is designated by a position type. So under first paragraph, Ezoic will never show more than one of the same position type um, on a page. So for example, um, under first paragraph, we have one, um, but if I create a second under first paragraph down here, um, this will give Ezoic the opportunity to test one or the other between those two positions. We never show both of them at the same time, and that's one of the beauties of Ezoic. It will decide, hey, is this under first paragraph a better location to show an ad, or is this position? All right, um, so I'm going to go through this site on my own and set up the rest of the ads, um, but I wanted to show you at least how to set up your first couple. Um, also, I'm gonna go back to the monetization tab here in Ezoic. If I refresh the page, you will also see these positions that I just created reflected in the Ezoic account. So the top of the page and then the two under first paragraphs. So again, you can edit them here as well if needed. You can even grab the code um, and place this code in, in your WordPress admin area if, if you need to do that. Um, a couple other settings here in Ad Tester that we wanna check. Um, on off settings at the moment. Um, these are the different formats that can be uh, can be tested. Um, I actually want to test all the new ad formats like in image ads, vignette ads, and interstitial video ads because I'm looking to maximize right, my revenue. So I have all of those turned on. Um, I also want my anchor ads turned on on all devices. Um, so those are turned on um, on all devices, which is great. And the last ad setting is going to be on your settings page. Um, you can set an optimization goal. 
Um, this will influence the outcome of how our system serves ads. So again, I'm looking to maximize my revenue. So I did choose that revenue focus, which will put a little bit more weight towards revenue. Um, but if you are looking for a more balanced approach, you can certainly do that or even use user experience focus. And folks, that today is your quick introduction on how to set up ads using Ezoic and our Chrome extension. Definitely check it out. Um, in our next episode, I'll be turning Ezoic on and checking out the live ads on this site that I've been setting up. Thanks.